and, and how the Supreme Court has interpreted the Eighth Amendment to apply it to the death penalty. Now, you know, the first thing to say is there are, we usually do this over several days and explore many dimensions of the death penalty. Unfortunately, we still have the time to do that. Um, you know, because there's a fundamental question, there's many questions here. Uh, one of them is, is the death penalty wrong? Right? Just plainly. Uh, ethically, morally, practically, um, and, and uh, in, in many other respects. That's one question here. Right? We're not going to explore that question. Um, because we don't have time. Instead, we're going to focus on uh, whether the U.S. whether, whether the, death penalty, the death penalty, or in what way the death penalty impacts or is impacted by the Eighth Amendment ban on cruel and unusual punishment. In other words, we're going to focus on the death penalty and the Supreme Court and how the Supreme Court has interpreted the death penalty um, and what it has said about its uh, constitutionality. Okay, several questions will come up. Um, the first one is obvious, right? Does the death penalty violate the ban on, on the Eighth Amendment, on the Eighth Amendment ban on cruel and unusual punishment, right? So, in other words, is the death penalty um, cruel and unusual punishment, or uh, is it sometimes, or always, or under some some circumstances, uh, um, or is it ever uh, cruel and unusual punishment? So that's one question, of course. Um, and then another big question is: Does the death penalty violate the Fourteenth Amendment's equal protection clause? Something you're going to see in a bit um, is the fact that some groups of people are overrepresented among the ranks of the executed, um, and some uh, groups of people are underrepresented. For example, African Americans and Hispanics are more likely to be on death row uh, than whites. Does that mean that their equal protection rights are being violated? by the criminal justice system that applies the death penalty. That's another question for the court to answer as well. Um, so let, let's speak in exploring the, uh, how the court has answered these questions. The first thing to look at is the fact that um, these are executions in the United States uh, over a 70, uh, 70 year period in, in the 20th century. And you notice that executions decline, right, uh, over time in general. And that's been a big uh, theme here. Uh, we are, um, the death penalty, especially in the last 10, 15 years or so, uh, has, has pretty much plateaued and begun to decline in its application. In other words, more and more states are either uh, banning the death penalty lately, or are using it more sparingly. But something happened here in the 1960s and 1970s that we have to talk about. In the 1960s, federal courts began to um, examine the death penalty uh, in, the, in the various states that, uh, that had death penalty and began to declare that there was, there were, the death penalty was being applied problematically and that it might be a violation of the Constitution the way the death penalty was being applied. Um, and so states began to stop using the death penalty um, little by little until the Supreme Court case of Furman versus Georgia when a, um, an actual moratorium, or pause, on the death penalty um, was, uh, was required by the U.S. Supreme Court in its ruling. There are really a couple questions for the Supreme Court in Furman versus Georgia. The first one, which we've already talked about, is does the death penalty constitute a violation of the Eighth Amendment's ban on cruel and unusual punishment? The Supreme Court said, no, it doesn't. I'm pretty sure you're not surprised to hear that. Because if you take a strict uh, interpretation of the Constitution, if you look at the, uh, at the trend uh, during the 1790s when the First or the Eighth Amendment was ratified by the states, you'll know that, um, you'll, you'll find that uh, the death penalty was very common back then. Um, public executions were a, a mundane part of the, of the criminal justice system in, in, the, in, the, in the early U.S. In early US history. Um, they had no problem with execution. Um, and so clearly, the mere fact of execution wasn't going to be a violation of the cruel, uh, Eighth Amendment's ban on cruel and unusual punishment. And the Supreme Court reiterated that in this, in this ruling. 